Long before the British colonialists occupied the Indian subcontinent, Northeast was one of the richest areas of the region. It had an active economic discourse with its neighbors. Land and river routes were taken to travel to as far as Kashmir. It had traditional links with Nepal, Tibet, and China. Assam and other areas of the Northeast had one of the highest per capita income. Its ample resources like wood, oil, tea, and other agricultural goods, and the ability to trade leavened the standard of living. The Northeastern region uh, was a kind of uh, meeting point surrounded by different countries. When India attained independence, when the partition took place, actually the entire northeastern region was reduced to a landlocked cocoon, you know, and all our traditional trade, commerce, the linkages got disrupted. That affected the growth of northeast. Due to its geostrategic presence, the government did not really build any industry in these parts. War with China in 1962 built a case for not developing this region. Expectedly, there were very few employment opportunities. It set off a vicious cycle of lack of development and insurgency. In 1991, Indian government shed much of its Cold War baggage and began putting together the forgotten pieces of an old jigsaw puzzle. Maps of disused road and rail links, old river routes that kept Northeast integrated with rest of India and other countries in its neighborhood were revived. Termed as the Lukis policy, it revisited history to create new paradigms that were based on geography, shared culture, and common religion. Lukis policy is basically a change from our trading practices and investment outlook, which were mostly with the Western world. And the Lukis policy is a belated appreciation of the fact that geographically we are part of Asia. The Look East policy to me seems to be a change in strategy where instead of containment, now we are coming up around to empowering people to be part of India, which I think uh, is a very, very significant change. India's Look East policy was premised on the belief that Northeast shares 4,500 kilometer long border with neighboring countries and is joined by just a 37 kilometer corridor with India. Therefore, it made more economic sense to trade with neighbors rather than the mainland. The Lukis policy is a grand vision that envisaged not only seeing Northeast as the entry port to the rest of the Southeast Asia, but also a recipe for the revival of Northeast. There is a greater clarity in this vision this time, after it was initiated in the early 90s. A Lukis policy could only work if it brought development to the neglected Northeast. It also involved creating an educational infrastructure comprising of colleges, technical institutes, and vocational schools that could channelize the youth into productive activities and wean them away from the path of violence. For any region to develop, it is important to know your own strengths. The same holds true for Northeast. It has a large mass of English-speaking people that can easily be used in BPOs and the hospitality sector. We are good in English speaking, we are good in IT. Uh, uh, Northeast has a tremendous, huge electricity uh, generating cap capability and potential, which uh, will, I'm sure, will be very much beneficial to Myanmar and, uh, and, and Bangladesh. Uh, we have uh, coal deposits here. Uh, we have uh, so many uh, goods are here and, and so many things that our people have the skills but, the, but because of the, the link is missing, so we have not really been able to possibly uh, flourish.